journalizing and post-closing entries. This gives the temporary accounts a zero balance and it involves closing four involves four closing journal entries. And it's very similar to the adjusting um, adjustments that we made at the beginning of this uh, chapter. So all accounts are reported on the balance sheet. Record the business since it started. So these are never going to be closed. The accumulated information to specific accounts for the specific period, they will be closed, like the revenues, expense, and the drawing. To close the revenue account, we're going to use the income summary. So you will see that we have a revenue for Jesse Jane's deliveries of $21.50 credit balance. To eliminate the balance, we will then debit the account. We will use the income summary to offset it because every debit must have a credit and every credit must have a debit. So let's see what the journal entry looks like. We will write closing entries, and then we will always list the debit first, delivery fees, and income summary for $21.50. Next, we are going to close our expense accounts, again, to our income summary. So we have wage expense. It's a debit balance, so we will credit that expense. We will do the same for all our expenses. We will then total our expense credit to come up with our income debit. So let's see how that looks journalized. We have the income summary, which is a debit of 31, 30, uh, 11.35, which is the total of all our expenses. So now we must close the income summary to our owner's capital account. So the income summary has the revenues of $21.50, the expenses of $11.35, and it's our net income of $10.15. This needs to be closed. So we will debit the income summary for $10.15, and we will credit our capital account for $10.15. It's basically saying our net income of 1015 will be now included in our capital account. So we have the income summary and Jesse Jane capital. Next, our drawing account must be closed. We have a debit balance of 150, so we must credit it. Since it directly affects our capital, we will just debit our capital account. So you will see, again, the journal entry is just Jessica Jane Capital and Jessica Jane Drawing. These are cl closing, and closing is written in the item area right there at the bottom of it. So that way we know for our ledger account. So we write closing, and we write a debit of $21.50 showing that our delivery fees are closed. We will prepare a post-closing trial balance to make sure that we are in balance. So to prepare after a closing entry, to prove the equality of our debits and credits, and only the accounts that are now remaining open. So we'll take our general ledger and we will list all the accounts that are open, which is our cash, accounts receivable, supplies, prepaid insurance, delivery equipment, accumulated depreciation, accounts payable, wages payable, and Jessica Jane Capital. And we are in proof. Let's do the same for our 6-9A. And you will see on page 205, it says journalize page 10. So here. We have the page 10 and post the adjusting entries. So where do we get our adjusting entries? Straight from our worksheet that you will find on page 203. And we have our supplies expense of 200. 
our insurance, and we were just going to literally look at our worksheet that was created for us and take down the accounts that they have written there and transcribe it onto page 10. But what we're really interested in is now journalizing our post-closing entries. We will then go to page 10, page 11, I'm sorry, for our post-closing entries. We will look at our worksheet and we will list our repairs and close it out to our income summary. Then we will list each one of our expenses. Since we are closing them out, we are going to credit our wages, our, our expenses, and debit the income summary. We will then take the net of the income summary, which is 1400 and close it to the capital account. We will also take our drawing expense and close that account to our capital account. Let's post to the general ledger. So you will see for cash 101, it remains the same. It's still the same balance as our adjusted trial balance. Our accounts receivable remains the same. Our supplies after the adjustment is now 600 and so on and so forth as we go down. Now we will start getting to the capital account. Our closing entry of J11, 1400 credit, and our debit of 1100 to give us a balance of 7400. Our drawing account is now closed. We're closing our income summary. We're closing our fees and all of our expenses. And we are going to take the balances of our cash, our accounts receivable, our supplies, our prepaid insurance, and our deliveries equipment, our accumulated delivery equipment depreciation, accounts payable, wages, and capital. And we are in proof. So we know we did everything correct. Please review the video if you need. Also review the PowerPoint presentation and the example 6-7 and 6-9 and email me if you have any further questions.